Thank you for tuning in. This is episode 14 of the House of Orange YouTube channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in up to this point, for liking, for sharing. Uh, just ask you like this, should, uh, share it, subscribe it out. Uh, appreciate that, guys. Uh, my name is Frank Rock. Again, this is the House of Orange. Uh, I'm going to preview the Tennessee-Mississippi State game. Coming tomorrow night or tonight, depending on when you're watching this. Um, 7 p.m., at Mississippi State. So let's talk about it. Let's get into it. So I previewed at the beginning of the last slide, talked about what I'm going to go into. So I'm going to look first at the statistics. How do they match up? Tennessee, of course, ranked fifth in the country. Um, Mississippi State is not ranked. Tennessee has won 10 in a row. I'm sorry, nine out of 10 versus Mississippi State. And, but it's on the road. It is the SEC. I expect a pretty tough environment. Tomorrow night, uh, both teams started SEC play over the weekend. Of course, Tennessee with the resounding win over Ole Miss. Mississippi State lost at South Carolina. Both teams do have an overall record of 11-3. and three. But I just want to kind of compare statistics, look at that. Who does Tennessee need to look out for tomorrow night? It's going to be the big thing. So for uh, Mississippi State, you have uh, Tolu Smith, who averages 14.5 points a game. Josh Hubbard averages 14.4 points per game and Cameron Matthews averages 9.4, Jimmy Bell Jr. 9.1, Deshaun Davis 8.3 and Shaquille Moore 7.9. So those are really a lot of their statistics kind of match up with Tennessee's because if you shift gears you've got Dalton Connect 15.1, Jonas Adu 11.4, Josiah Jordan James 11.1. So Tennessee does have three double digit average scores and then you have uh, Ziegler 8.9, Ganey 8.6, Vescovy 8.2 before you see it drop down to 5.9 points per game. But looking at statistics, Mississippi State averages right around 75 points per game. Tennessee averages 78.7. Looking at Mississippi State's team statistics, they give up about 63 per game. Tennessee's giving up about 64 per game. Uh, Mississippi State does rank 19th in the country in defense so this is one of those games especially on the road i expect tennessee's going to have to scratch and claw with it's a team that it's almost like a poor man's tennessee in a respect because they play good defense they are they are inconsistent offensively that's uh some of the scouting report that i have read on that and just comparing um getting into their schedules comparing that so i'm looking over Mississippi State's schedule, their losses have come at Georgia Tech to Southern, which is something that could come back to hurt them come tournament time if they're on that bubble, and then at South Carolina on Saturday. South Carolina does seem like an improved squad this year for sure, but nobody that Mississippi State uh, has played on their schedule is currently in the top 25. So this will be, I think, without a doubt, Mississippi State's toughest test of the year with Tennessee coming to town. And then they have, I know a few of their games coming up, they have Alabama, they have Kentucky as well. Um, so this, this is a tough stretch for Mississippi State coming out of the break. So some of the comparisons, when again, I, I see a lot of similarities. So looking at Mississippi State from three-point range, they shoot about 31.5 around uh, about 31.5% on the year. So Tennessee's 3.0%, about 34, so a little bit better in that range. Free throw percentage, Tennessee's right at about 78%. Uh, Mississippi State's about 72 and a half, 73%. We'll say rebounds, Mississippi State 39.4 per game. Tennessee 39.8. That's gonna be uh we'll see who can that's gonna be a big one. Who can win that battle? Assists, Tennessee's about 17.4 assists per game. Mississippi State, 15.2. Turnovers per game, Mississippi State's right at 13. Uh, Tennessee's just over uh, about 10 and a half, actually. So the, these teams are really close in a lot of statistics. So where I'm looking at here, seems like Tennessee's actually a little better shooting team. Uh, who's going to win that battle on the boards? That is what I'm most interested in. Tennessee destroyed Ole Miss on the boards. That was key in that game. It was like 47 to 24, which is phenomenal. That is an astronomical difference that they've displayed on that. So 
what what goes in Mississippi State's favor? It's home court. You know, it is. This is the team last year. Chris Jans come from New Mexico State. He's one of the active, uh, what percentage went highest percentage winners in college basketball. And uh, you know, he's a good coach coming first year. Got Mississippi State to the tournament. Obviously, they're looking to repeat that this year as well. Tennessee, of course, currently on a seven-game winning streak. Mississippi State has has won five out of six. Of course, lost their last one against South Carolina, but they dropped two, so they're they've won five out of eight right now. This is a game to me. Do I expect? I, I don't expect a blowout, but I think Tennessee. This might. This is just a game that plays into Tennessee's hands. I really feel that. It's a team that, yeah, they want to get defensive, but they don't shoot that well. And who knows, maybe, you know, having that home court edge tomorrow night, they will be a better shooting team. I really like Tennessee in this game to come out 2-0 and to start SEC play. Go to Georgia Saturday, and I'll preview that later in the week as well. But this is a game to me that seems right up Tennessee's alley. You play defense, that's Rick Barnes' way. Want to get into shooting? It, it, it's not going to be an offensive juggernaut. <laughs> this is not going to be some exhibition of offense tomorrow. Night. I expect a lower scoring game. I haven't seen what the spread is on that. That's something uh, I don't know. I just don't look at the spread a whole lot. I look at it occasionally. I looked at it for the Ole Miss game last week where it was 12, and of course, Tennessee dominated. You know, they beat that by three times, obviously, but. This is a game getting into my prediction for tomorrow night. I'm going to say Tennessee 63, Mississippi State 57. A little bit of a low scoring. Maybe they'll – who knows? This is a game probably both teams will all of a sudden become Lakers versus Celtics from the 80s or something. But uh, I don't expect a high-scoring game. I expect a grinded-out game. I do expect one where Tennessee – I think they'll be in control. I think that – I don't think they'll be in control enough to where they're just – walking the clock out at the end. I think it'll be a case where Mississippi State's having to foul to keep it close, keep the chance. But again, I like that 63, 57 Vols. I expect the good guys. I expect the guys in orange to roll on to 2-0 and going into Saturday against Georgia. I'm going to bring you a recap tomorrow. The game should be over around 9 tomorrow night. First thing we'll do, jump on, record a video, post a recap of it, and I'll post it here tomorrow night. Our, my biggest – uh, views video so far has been the recap from the Mississippi Tennessee game from last Saturday. Um, there's other channels out there. I mean, it, it's kind of humbling to record a football video and have just a few views and another, and you know, a couple minutes, this channel is just like smoked me off channels have smoked me off the map. It, it's part of starting it out. It, it, it's cool. It's, it's all good. But um, if you like the content, Make sure you like it. Make sure you make sure you share it out. If you don't subscribe, share it out to others. Any Tennessee fans, anybody, maybe just be a sports fan in general. I appreciate all the support, all the feedback that I can get to help make this channel better. And we'll keep rocking and rolling with this thing. Uh, I'm gonna drop this video, and then tomorrow uh, we'll record a baseball video. I'm excited about talking about the portal additions to this Tennessee baseball team. They're bringing in a lot of talent. Tomorrow, and I'll talk about that. And then we'll go forward to football. There's a there's a lot we can talk about in football. And if you want any football fixes, I recorded a video earlier about the way too early top 25 for next year, according to 11 publications. And also, Tennessee got a commitment, transfer commitment from Jalen McMurray from Temple. It was a weird one, as I saw over the weekend, that it was, just wasn't going to be a fit, wasn't going to happen. And it comes up today, they accepted his commitment. So, and then... Um, if Lance Hurd, the offensive tackle from LSU, does happen to jump in the boat, I'll jump on and, and record to get something out on that as well. But thank you guys for tuning in. My name's Frank Rock. This is the House of Orange. Go Vols. Everyone rejects me.